So today is one of the exciting days of getting ready for having a baby. I am doing my first wash load of clothing. So I need to go through this bag and I need to get out all the first size and newborn that I have got and up to one month because I do think I'm going to have a big baby and up to one month is about ten, nine to ten pounds. And I'm just going to do the first wash load. So anything that's white or grey which is pretty much everything I've got I'm going to have to rifle through get everything and then I'm going to pop it into this basket and then take it downstairs to be washed which is super 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 exciting so that is the first thing I am doing getting this bit this house ready for a baby so I've got baby grows and then there's loads of little baby vests some little socks so I'm just doing whites first just loads of plain white baby grows and they're all in newborn or first size or up to one month so once they're all washed and dried I'm then going to sort through what I need for the hospital because everything that I'll be taking to hospital is in here or there's just a few grey things that need washing but obviously I'll do that on a separate wash so I need to find a few outfits in here to take to the hospital and just hope that the baby does not need tiny baby, which I really don't think it will if it comes after 37 weeks because it's already quite a big baby. So yeah, there's some gorgeous little stuff and I'm going to go down now and get it all washed. So just quickly before I pop it all in, I am using the Comfort Pure Fabric Conditioner because I've heard that this is one of the nicest ones for babies and it's hypoallergenic and apparently it smells gorgeous and then I am using it with the fairy non-bio gel so apparently using non-bio is the best thing to use and I use non-bio anyway but I just thought because it's a baby's first wash and obviously it's washing all the clothes I just wanted them to smell gorgeous so I'm hoping that if these smell really beautiful then I will just carry on this combination because I'm probably never going to wash the baby's clothes with mine or Josh's clothes just because they're obviously a lot more delicate and there's probably a lot more white things than what we would usually wear. We don't really wash whites that often, so. These literally smell beautiful. Oh my God. It is just so real, so. First. Wash load done, smells pretty nice to me, everything's perfectly white, even through the muslins in there. So if you are a new mum or you haven't got around to this bit yet and you're not sure what you're meant to wash, you are literally meant to wash everything that will touch your baby's skin. So it'll be like cot sheets, muslins, bibs, clothes, everything that touches your baby's skin needs to be washed. So... This all honestly just smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to peg it out and then we'll just have a quick film of what we've pegged. And then tomorrow I'm going to do the greys and the colours. And then I'm not going to wash anything past like one month until the whole nursery is done. And then I've got room to put everything else away. I wonder how long it will stay this white. Isn't that just the nicest sight you've ever seen? There's loads of white babe grows on the washing line and muslins and little tiny socks. So now I'm just going to sort the drawers out in the baby's room. So this is the only part of the baby's room that's finished is the chest of drawers that are up. And I have all these grey little drawer fillers which are used for separating lots of closing drawers. And these were on my Amazon haul. So I'm just going to pop them into the drawers so that when the clothes are done I can fold the clothes away and put them in. And then also nappies. What I'm going to do 
Nappies are all in packs, but the smaller sizes I'm going to shove into some of these so that they're easier for me to grab rather than just having to like grab them out of the packet. So that is my job for now. the drawers we have got all the nappy changing things so we have more nappies so I can quickly just grab a nappy change the baby and obviously without having to go into the bottom drawer so I will just make sure that these are always filled up at all times we've got some talc some baby lotion baby wipes nappy cream and soda creme and then obviously nappy bags and cotton wool then we have the changing mat on top which hasn't been out of its packet yet because obviously I don't really want to do that until the baby comes. And then top drawer organisation. So everything on the front row is the smallest size baby clothes that I've got. So these are like little outfits that are sort of like newborn slash fur size and then these are all proper baby vests. So like literally just like a proper vest. So they're all in there just so I know where everything is and then there's literally just one baby grow because there's one in my hospital bag as well and I just feel like we aren't going to need any more size of these because they are really small and obviously our baby's been predicted quite big and then here we've got newborn slash up to a month baby grows so there's obviously eight there then these are all vests these are all vests and then these are leggings so the back row is up to one month sort of slash newborn and then here we've got just a few hats and some socks which I need a lot more of. I do not have enough at all but it is my baby shower this weekend so I am not planning on buying any more clothing until after that. Then second drawer down I have some new organisers. These ones are from Ikea. So this is the not three months drawer. We've got leggings in here got quite a few pairs of leggings which is nice because I think when they get a bit older and a bit chunkier it's nice to have them in leggings then we've got baby grows in here so these are all washed so these are all not three or one to three months and then pajamas so there's a little pair of pajamas and then an actual baby grow but obviously I know that's like a bedtime baby grow so I've I've kept sort of daytime ones separate to nighttime there's some little socks here that obviously need washing and then all these things in here also need washing so that's all not three months you've obviously seen the bottom drawer of nappies baby wipes cotton wool so this will just stay like this and then obviously i can quickly grab these out pop them in the top and then once this is empty i will refill from the actual packet of nappies and we'll turn round to under the cot and there's also more nappies under there as well so hopefully we won't be running out of nappies anytime. There's then just a few baskets over in sort of the wardrobe area so this one I've just filled with all the dummies that I have currently and then this one has just got bibs in and then there's one at the top which is empty. And then in here I've got a baby towel so I'm going to pop all the towels in there obviously when they've been washed so that's where the towels will stay. Clothes in packets that are three to six months so obviously the baby will not be wearing those for quite a while so they can literally just stay in a basket. And then I've got a baby wrap and sleeping... Oops. Baby wrap slash swaddle slash sleeping bag in at this top one and then I think that one there is empty. So you've obviously seen where I put all the clothes and everything and we're just literally waiting on some railings to go on this white strip here. So all the clothes that need hanging up, obviously I've not yet even washed or hung up because there's nowhere to put them. So all the drawers are done but then as soon as the railings are on here 
I will then start hanging a few clothes. <laughs> Just filled up the nappy caddy for under the snus pod in our bedroom so obviously in the middle of the night I do not want to be having to go into the baby's actual room to get things for nappy changes so I'm just gonna pop this under the snus pod under here so we've got nappies nappy sacks bit of bum cream nappy cream baby wipes muslins and nipple pads so i'll add some more muslins to this when i've washed more and they're all dried and then every sort of two days i will probably just go through this and make sure it's refilled and then this can literally just live under here like that so then in the middle of the night when the baby is crying or things need changing i can quickly just grab a nappy and change it on the bed rather than having to take the baby into a different room or run into a different room and grab a nappy or baby wipes so that is one extra thing i'm just quickly going to add a few more muslins to the nappy caddy in our bedroom that goes under the snus pod because i've just grabbed them out of the dryer so there'll be about five muslins in here now all ready for baby's arrival so muslins cotton wool baby wipes nappies nipple pads nappy bags all ready under the snus pod and then this has just arrived on amazon from amazon should i say so i'm going to plug this in and just prop it at the side of our bed because this snus pod is getting moved to the side of my bed i've just washed the snus bed sheets and the snus bed blankets but i literally i'm not going to do that until the baby actually comes home because i just don't want it to get dusty so the grow egg will go in front of the snus pod next to the side of my bed So instead of having a nappy caddy downstairs, I have just got this basket because it slots perfectly into the side of our coffee table. So I've just filled it with nappies, cotton wool, nappy sacks and baby wipes. And then again, just some little sort of baby cream. So this will get filled up every few days again for when I'm downstairs. So I don't have to run upstairs and grab nappies and things like that. So I'll just make sure that this is always refilled like every one to two days so that when i'm downstairs everything is convenient and it's nice that it just slots in there rather than having like, a nappy caddy just sat around the house so you can't really tell what is in there which i quite like i've then also just shoved some muslins in here so i've only got four in three there and then a big one under the wipes because i've literally got no more room for any so again apparently go through like three muslins a day so if i've got some down here some in the bedroom and some in the baby's room hopefully i'll be absolutely fine so i'll just make sure that everything is restocked every few days so in the kitchen cupboard the baby has got its own little basket so we've got comfort fabric conditioner fairy non-bio gel and then this nappy sandwich i've heard is amazing for stains and also helps to kill bacteria in your laundry and then there is also the milton sterilizing tablet milton sterilizing tablets so i still need to order the milton sterilizing tub but i'm definitely going to go and get it this weekend because i just feel like we're going to need it by like next week <laughs> so that will also live under here somewhere as well so that's literally just a few of the babies like laundry bits that are just all together under the sink and then this is the baby's little cupboard so as you can see it's just got all like our oils and tablets and stuff in it so what we've got is baby's bottles so six easy start man bottles and then this one's a little tiny one i've got some of the tommy tippy 
milk containers for like powder when you're out and about and then there's just a few of these first infant milks left because I did pack them all in my hospital bag but I got told that my hospital has them anyway so I just thought I'd put them back down here and then we have some breast milk storage bags as well I'm not going to sterilise any of the bottles until I actually need them because apparently sterilisation only lasts for like 24 to 36 hours I've heard of people sterilising the bottles weeks before the baby's due and it's just pretty pointless because you'll apparently need to sterilise it all again so that's just a little cupboard of all the little baby's bits and then all we need to bring down here is the Milton sterilising tub which is like what I've said but we currently don't have it yet snuggle bath I think that's how you pronounce it so we were either going to get this or the angel care and my brother and sister-in-law actually gave us this because my niece doesn't need it anymore so obviously we just decided to stick to the snuggle so it's already in the bath because there's just nowhere else to put it so literally when we have a shower or a bath we obviously just take it out and put it on the floor so it's obviously not a nuisance being in the bath at all it doesn't exactly look ugly or anything so We've just decided to stick it in the bath ready because there's just nowhere else to store it and then walk through to the baby's room, just ignore the bedding on the landing and all the baby's bath stuff is behind the door. So we've got sponges and we've got all this child's farm so we are not running out of bath stuff anytime soon. Let's just hope this baby likes child's farm. We've also got some bedtime from Tesco so I'm definitely going to try and use that more on a night just for like the smell and then we've got some white company and also a teething toy and a bath book so this is literally like the baby's bath on the top shelf there's all just like little essentials so I've got nipple shields brush and combs clippers nail clippers and then the snot nasals picker up I think so this is a little bit of a random one because it's not really getting the house ready for a baby it's just kind of getting organized but I'm about to cook some meals and then I'm going to portion them up and freeze them so I've got these little foil trays and I just think when you are a new mum and you're breastfeeding and there's lots going on, everyone just says you forget to eat. So I'm cooking two of my favourite meals. I'm cooking my favourite tuna pasta bake and then I'm either going to cook like a cottage pie or a fish pie or something like that. Get it frozen in the freezer and then I know that even if I am like don't have time to go to the shops or the supermarket, I know that I've got a meal in the freezer waiting for me so that is what I am doing today and obviously it is kind of getting organised for baby because I'm just making sure that I'm going to eat well or eat enough food anyway. So my pasta bake is done 
And then tomorrow or Monday, I'm going to either make a chilli or a cottage pie slash shepherd's pie and freeze that. And then hopefully I'll have enough meals. We don't have a lot of freezer space, so I can't do loads anyway. But I'm just going to finalise this video here. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully if you are pregnant and you have a baby on the way, it's helped you work out how to get organised or I've just given you a few pointers and a few tips on how to sort things out. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you in my next video.